I have just updated my phone to iOS 14 and I have had so much fun customizing my homepage. So I wanted to show you how to do it. This is what my phone used to look like before the update. And this is what it looks like now. I did all my designs on Procreate and I've imported them in, but I wanted to show you what apps you need and how to customize your own homepage to suit your needs. So let me know in the comments if you've updated your phone. I'd love to see all your different templates. So feel free to send me a screenshot on Instagram. I have seen people do so many different templates. Some have done Harry Potter themes, some have done different TV shows, just a random color theme. So it's really fun just to customize it to everyone's preferences. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. So as I said, this is what my home screen looks like. So I've chosen pink as my theme. I picked a background photo that I have taken. I've customized all the thumbnails and the widgets to suit the theme. So I'll show you first how to use the widget app. So up the top, there's my calendar and that's by an app called Widget Smith. That's something you will have to download from the app store. That's how you get that calendar. So I'm gonna show you how to open that up and then you can customize it for yourself. So if you click on that and open it up and you'll come to this screen so it's got a few different widgets and you've got small, medium, large, and then you can click on each one and customize it. So if you go into the medium one and you can change the font, background color, anything you like to suit what you want your theme to be, and then just hit save. So when you go to your home screen, just hold down and the screen's gonna shake. And then there's a plus button right at the top left corner. So you wanna hit that and then it'll come to this screen where you can add different elements in. So if you can't see the widgets right at the top, just scroll down to the bottom to Widget Smith, click on that, and then choose between small, medium, and large icon that you've already made. And then that will bring it to your homepage and you can just place it wherever you want. So these are some of the other widgets that I've put in there. I've put the battery one, I've put my uh, weather app, and I've also put another small calendar, just because it looks cute. <laughs> so as I said before, there's a bunch of other widgets you can put in. You can put your maps, notes, clock anything you like if you just hit that plus button again and you can scroll through and see all these different options and then you can add whatever you want to customize your own homepage. so next up to customize your own icons for each of your apps you can go into this app that should already be on your phone called shortcuts so this is what it looks like and then just click on that and it'll bring you to this page so I've already added all my icons, as you can see from my homepage, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So in order to change the image on the front of your app, you can hit the plus button on the right side this time, and then click add action. You're going to find a few different options and just click on scripting, and that will come through to another page where you can choose the app that you want to adjust. So you can scroll through and pick which app you like. So we'll just pick the calculator for now, and then it will bring you to this other page. So you can see there's already an icon there that it's given you as an example, which we'll change in a moment. So make sure you name it calculator in two spots. So I'll show you the first one. So just here type calculator. So you can see there's lots of different icons you can pick if you didn't want to design it yourself and just go through. We'll just pick a random one that looks a little bit like a calculator. You can change the background color as well. So that's another way to mix it up. And then if you're happy with that icon, just hit save. Then you're gonna click add to home screen. So adding to home screen, again, make sure you rename it because otherwise it will just come up as new shortcut. And before you hit add, Click on that icon on the left and you can choose a photo from your files. So I've already got all these icons that I've made. So we're just gonna pick one of my icons. So I'll pick the YouTube one, even though that's not gonna be from my calculator. And then just hit add. So that's gonna add it to the home screen. So now you can see on the home screen, it is there at the bottom, looking like a YouTube icon. And if you don't want it, obviously I'm not gonna keep this one, but you can just hold it down again and delete. And then it's gone and you'll still have that app in another section of your phone. So don't stress if you delete that, you're not gonna delete your app. So one little drawback of this new shortcut icon option is that when you click on any of the apps, it will actually open the shortcut app first. So before it goes to the different app you want. So that is one little drawback. So it does take a little bit more time, but it's just more for aesthetics that it looks really nice. And you've still got those apps on your other pages of your phone. So don't stress if you don't wanna use these, it's just for looks really. So that's how I updated my phone to the new iOS 14 update. I had so much fun customizing it and I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more. If you've got any questions though about how to update it, how to customize it, or how to design the different icons, please let me know and I'd love to help you out. And if you've got any other videos you'd like to see, definitely let me know in the comments and I'd love to film them for you. But otherwise, I will see you next time, bye.